do 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 Beer snobs hate us. Find out why on Two Cousins Drinking. And today we're Two Cousins Drinking Chimay Blue Grand Reserve. See? We are Not indeed. Sure say, Not sure why I say Grand. Are you as excited as I am? I am. I haven't had Chimay in a very long time. Over 20 years. I can't see through that. Nope. Well, there we go. It's, it's a wow. mahogany... Can I smell it? I can keep talking about the color. Chestnut. Banana. Banana? I smell banana. The first thing I smelled is banana. Malts. A little clovey. I get banana. I get banana. Sorry. Well, you've got your gigantic wine glass. That may change the aromas. And I have this my tiny t- snifter. Here's uh, to swim in with. Belgian monks. That is deep and powerful. Holy moly. But it's not heavy. There's a lot going on there. I feel the heaviness, but there's uh, some sort of carbonation that helps cut through it. Roasty flavor. I'm just at a loss. There's a lot going on. <laughs> sort of a... I want to say not, I don't want to say raisin, but sort of a hint of raisin. It's in that uh, general kind area of, dried, of uh, dried fruit. Now this is a originally a Christmas ale, first brewed in 1948. Stealing my thunder, but it was 1948 when it was first originally brewed, and then they began making it year round in 1954. It's the first beer we've had that they actually recommend aging. Which explains why it's the first beer we've had that puts the year on the. Uh, cork it is nine percent abv which worries me but it's delicious so now i'm no longer worried due to that fact we bought a single 750 milliliter bottle each and we're split into three parts oh this is dangerous i think you're right (laughs) Uh, part of being a trappist brewery means they don't they're not for profit so the brewery exists on the grounds and they pay rent and then all the additional profits go to the community. It was like, I think in 2013, they had netted $50 million. Chimay was the first uh, brewery to use the official Trappist Ale designation on its labels. So they make the beer at the monastery, but it is transported to a bottling facility 12 kilometers away, where they can make 40,000 bottles an hour. I'm wondering if there's, so at some point, there's the weird uh, transferring from, in my mind, from, like the 1400s, where they come out with their shaved heads, and then they pass it off to the modern world. But how are you feeling about it? What are your numbers? I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm enjoying it at 90, and I want another one, uh, 85. Oh, thought we were going to be uh, synchronous here. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I was going to say a 90, but uh, now I've had a few more seconds, so I'm going to say I'm enjoying it at 92. And I want another one, the 95. All right, cheers to that. I'm not doing anything is on the blue family crest. Greg, it's come to this. Drink number two, Shimei Blue, Grand Reserve. 9% ABV. The nice thing about a 9% ABV drink at an 8 ounce pour is you're getting twice the drunk at half the bladder capacity. Well, with their marketing, they she made those different colors for their different beers. This one is blue. It makes it simple. Simple, elegant. I mean, it's from a monastery. I don't want, I don't want a hoppy ending or something like that. They had for how long it's been around, how popular it is, how much of this sells. Surprisingly, little about the brewery online. Like their Wikipedia page is just one page. I expected a rich, deep history. And... I'm guessing they are intertwined with the Illuminati. This, Greg, is a great beer because we've been drunkenly rambling for 20 minutes on many subjects. 
Uh, How are you enjoying your beer? Tremendously, uh, drunkenly, smashingly. Smashing, baby, yeah! Blue one is, wants us to drink more blue-based drinks. Is is the blue the uh, main uh, beer of Shimei? Is this the flagship? I think the red's the flagship. How are you feeling about it? What are your numbers? How are you enjoying this? How much do you want a third drink? I'm enjoying it a 90, and I want a third drink a 90. I've gone, I actually want it. I think we drank this faster and still wonderful, delightful, amazingly lightweight for 9% and just drinkable. I'm going to say I'm enjoying it a 93 and want another 95. Gregma requires nourishment. Uh, two cousins drink drink three. Drink three. Shimei Blue. Grand Reserve. We have both upgraded our vessels. 9% ABV, my brain is telling me. Blue Woo! himself was born at 9%. <laughs> Woo! So I let my uh, bottle sit out during drink two. And? It's cold, but there, it's warmed up a little, and you're getting a little more of that complexity. Mm. It's a thinking man's beer, Gregory. A thinking man's beer. And a thinking man is what I be. Well, based on this beer, are you thinking about buying another one and storing it away for five years? I would think that, yes. Let me see. Cheers, Blue. Blue, get off camera. Incense and peppermints. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Because of drinking. If you brought this to a party, what type of impression do you give off? Ooh, you come off as quite studious, knowledgeable about beer. Nobody's going to drink it. They're waiting for you to pour it for them. You tell the host, bring me uh, five small glasses. <laughs> do you have yeah. five Belgian ale glasses ready, sir? And then when they say they don't have enough glasses, you roll your eyes. It's just a win-win for you. You look cool. You get to be a snob. Ooh. And still, you're the hero of the day, pouring the fancy beer for everyone. I mean, this, you outshine the host of the party. Oh, that's great food that the host made. Here, try it with my fancy beer. How many of these would you, how much, how much of this would you drink to impress Tina Turner? Two bottles. After 600 milliliters, what do you want to do? Play backgammon with Alf. I want to put up Christmas lights. The June? They don't care. Some Belgian style beers feel hefty. This does yes. not feel hefty. And I'm not no, feeling yeah. I'm feeling drunk, but I'm not feeling the alcohol, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't feel yep. bad. There's somewhere you're like, oh, this is like a nine ABV. Oh, ah. This would make me want to try other higher ABV beers. What movie would you pair with this beer? I would pair this with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hmm. I choose Lady Hawk. The monk aspect kind of played oh, up in my oh. brain. Greg, what Star Trek character would you drink this beer with? Oh, thank God. Gowron, former emperor of the Klingon Empire. It's a Klingon beverage. I'm a little shocked that you immediately came up with a random Klingon's name without it's even random. trying. What kind of drunk does this make you? This... Beer makes me feel like I'm intelligent, yet I'm clearly intoxicated. I think it would make me quite entertaining at festivities. We're at the end of drink three. Give us thy numbers, I'm John. still enjoying it greatly. Enjoying it, I'm going to say I'm enjoying it at 93, and I still want another 95. Greg? I'm in enjoying it at 90, and I want another at 95. Top-notch beer. This has been She May Blue. I've enjoyed it. How about you? I've enjoyed it. How about you? Here's to us, Greg. <laughs>